as a vet, this is one of the most common questions I get from pet owners. And as a doggy mom myself, I know that there's nothing worse than looking at your little fur baby and seeing them hurt, itch, or be miserable and not know how to help. In this video, because you have asked, I am going to share with you the three most common reasons why dogs have itchy skin and what you can do to treat it. And I'll share a few underlying health issues that may be causing itchy skin where you're gonna need your vet's help. So I like to think of the reasons for itchy skin in three ways, outside, inside, and outliers. First, outside problems or outside of the body issues. Simply put, this means your dog's skin is the actual problem you're dealing with rather than diet, environmental, or internal health conditions. These issues are most commonly associated with dry skin, parasites, and skin infections. So let's talk about dry skin. Just like people, one common reason dogs get itchy skin is because their skin lacks sufficient moisture. This can be due to living in an environment that's dry or using shampoos that strip away your dog's natural oils. Additionally, dry pet foods have a low moisture content and many lack the skin nourishing omega-3 fatty acids that dog needs. It's easy to spot dry skin. When you part the fur, you'll see dry white flakes or the skin may look cracked or even irritated from your dog scratching. Your dog may scratch violently upon the slightest rub or, or tickle, or you may see your dog rolling on his back to itch and get relief. We've all been there. So another outside issue is parasites, such as fleas and mites. And we all know that fleas cause itching in our pets, but mites can cause severe itching too. And unlike fleas that can be seen, mites are microscopic. Even though they're less visible, the issues mites can cause are often more noticeable. There are several types of mites we see in our pets. They can cause extreme itching, hair loss, crusty sores, ear infections, angry, inflamed skin. On the other hand, dogs react to fleas by itching, chewing, licking, but they itch particularly near the base of the tail, the back of the thighs and the stomach. So unlike mites, fleas can be confirmed using a flea comb or seeing flea dirt on your dog's skin or bedding. It's important to realize that many dogs are allergic to the saliva of fleas and they can react violently to the bite of just one flea. So regardless of the parasite, I always recommend a vet's evaluation. So a diagnosis can be made and a holistic treatment plan can be implemented to get rid of the mites or fleas on the dog and in the environment. You wanna eliminate the itch by soothing the skin and you wanna boost the immune system. And finally, another big outside culprit is bacterial and yeast infections. Sometimes if a skin condition goes unaddressed for too long and excessive scratching and licking and chewing takes place, it can cause a bacterial or yeast infection. And we commonly call these hot spots and they're focal red oozing painful lesions due to self trauma, which exacerbates the itch leading to a perpetuating cycle of chewing and scratching and chewing and scratching. Your pet may also have hair loss, salivary staining from licking, or a, a stinky odor from the infection. So many dog owners complain of a lack of sleep because they hear their dog licking, scratching, chewing these irritated areas during the night, and it just, it makes everyone miserable. So the goal is stop the itch and get relief. Depending on the severity, in mild cases, when the hot spot is small, non-painful, or recognized early, you can begin treatment at home. In more severe cases, when the hot spot becomes painful or is accompanied by a bite wound or trauma or an underlying cause, 
I recommend getting your vet involved. So those are the three outside problems and we always start there because those problems are more visible and much easier to diagnose. But now I want to talk about inside problems. Sometimes itchy skin has less to do with what's going on with the outside of your dog's skin and more to do with something going on inside their body. These issues are most commonly related to food allergies or food intolerances, environmental allergies, otherwise known as atopy, or nutritional deficiencies. So let's talk about food allergies. Just like people, dogs can have allergies to certain foods. You may have heard that the most common pet allergens are beef, poultry, wheat, corn, dairy. However, you have to realize any dietary component can cause an allergic reaction. Some of us believe that the offenders may be the chemicals used in the processed meats or the use of the poor quality meats or the grains used in the processed food which upsets the GI barrier leading to more antigens crossing into the bloodstream. So if your dog gets chronic ear infections often or licks around the perianal region, the rear area, or you see them scooting, chewing, or licking constantly at their skin or at their feet, this can be a sign of a food allergy. So changing your dog's diet or trying a hypoallergenic diet can help you determine whether a food component is the cause of your dog's itch. Additionally, food allergies can also cause stomach issues can cause vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, gas, or bloating. So if your dog has these signs when eating certain foods, this can be a sign of a food allergy. So another inside issue of itchy skin is environmental allergies. Dogs can sneeze as a sign of an allergy, but more commonly, they itch. And this can be due to airborne pollens, particles from grass, trees, dust, or mold. And we do believe that there may be a genetic component in which allergic dogs respond more vigorously than normal dogs. So if your dog itches or rubs around the eyes or face, ears, armpits or rear area, or is prone to ear infections, this can certainly be a sign of allergies, particularly if there is a seasonal component to it. We are seeing more cases of allergic dogs with skin issues these days and although we don't completely understand the reason for this, much of the focus in my practice is that bolstering the immune system is important, feeding a clean, high quality diet, supplementing with omega-3 fatty acids, and making good decisions about our vaccine protocols, it really seems to be making a difference. So another inside issue of itchy skin is nutritional deficiencies. This can be the result of feeding a poor quality commercial dog food or even feeding a homemade diet that is nutritionally inadequate. The processing of commercial pet food impacts the digestibility and nutrient bioavailability of our pet food. And we know that the most common deficiencies contributing to dry, itchy skin are insufficient levels of zinc, insufficient levels of copper, and omega-3 fatty acids. So if your dog has hair loss or a change in hair color or dry hair with split ends, slow growing of hair from spots that have been previously clipped or dry flaky skin, a nutrition related deficiency should be considered. Also, if you are interested in formulating a balanced fresh whole food diet for your pet, that meets the USA and European standards for each life stage and activity level, you might wanna check out Animal Diet Formulator. I'll make sure to include the link below. And finally, sometimes itchiness and scratching isn't the actual problem. It can be a symptom of an underlying health condition. And I say this not to scare you, but to remind you that because our pups can't talk, 
Scratching and biting itchy skin is their way of letting us know something is wrong. And if you've tried solutions for both inside and outside problems and your fur baby still isn't getting any relief, there may be a deeper reason and I would strongly recommend a veterinary exam with a complete blood work panel looking for internal reasons. And I call these reasons outliers. Some of the most common outliers that cause itching and scratching and dry skin in dogs is hormone problems such as hypothyroidism, Cushing's disease, diabetes, there's autoimmune disorders, skin cancer, and I always think about pain, anxiety, and boredom as possible rollouts as well. So now that you know the three most common reasons for itchy skin, outside, inside, and outliers, what do you do about it? Here are some of my recommendations. If you suspect your dog's itchy skin is due to dry skin, bug bites, fleas, or allergies, try a gentle nourishing shampoo. This is one of the best ways to treat and soothe the skin and eliminate itching fast. Look for brands with naturally soothing ingredients that you can use regularly. Your goal is 10 minutes of contact time on the skin. And you can find some of these options in our store, like ample soothing aloe and oatmeal shampoo. Now, if your dog has hot spots or a bacterial or yeast infection, then a medicated shampoo that contains antibacterial and antifungal ingredients such as chlorhexidine and ketoconazole should be used until the skin is healed. Lastly, if your dog has mites, a follicular flushing antibacterial shampoo with benzoyl peroxide to flush and eliminate mites in the skin should be used. Once the skin is healed and healthy, you can switch back to a gentle nourishing shampoo for maintenance baths. And another way to combat itchy or red inflamed skin, particularly if your dog has facial folds, hot spots, acne, insect bites, abrasions, or inflamed itchy paws, is to treat these areas focally or between baths with a non-stinging antiseptic medicated wipe. Sometimes a wipe that contains all of these ingredients is hard to find. That's why I created my own for ample nutrition. It's my go-to recommendation for a soothing medicated cleansing wipe. Our pre-moistened wipes are perfect between baths to help treat affected areas that you can use daily on your dog. You can also find these wipes at our store. Now, if you're dealing with an inside issue, consider adding digestive enzymes, probiotics, or omega-3 fatty acids to your dog's diet, depending on what you feel is necessary to optimize your dog's health. If you are feeding your dog a dry food diet, then add digestive enzymes to your dog's food. Enzymes optimize nutrient absorption by increasing bioavailability and digestibility. You get more vitamins, more minerals, and other components out of the food. Probiotics and prebiotics are also beneficial for maintaining a healthy gut, boosting the immune system, and helping with skin conditions. In fact, a number of studies suggest that feeding probiotics and prebiotics can help improve your dog's allergies and itchy skin significantly. And additionally, skin nourishing omega-3 fatty acids decreases inflammation and supports your pet's coat from the inside out. And you can get all these three products in our store. And if you have any questions, just reach out to me at Ample Nutrition and I'd be happy to talk to you. And finally, if you think your dog is battling an outlier, this is a hormone imbalance or immune disorders and none of the remedies you've tried work, it is time to consult your vet. They can do more detailed examinations and even provide specific solutions for your pup that you can work in to optimize your pet's health and well-being. So friends, if you like this video and found it informative, 
please be sure to subscribe to Ample Nutrition's YouTube channel for future videos on keeping your pup healthy and strong. Share this video with your passionate pup friends or even add a photo of your pup in the comments section below. I love looking at your pets. At Ample Nutrition, we are committed to creating video content to keep your pup living its happiest, healthiest, strongest life with you. See you next time, friends.